What's up guys, welcome to Free Life Passion. Today I'm going to compare traditional HIIT training to weight training and its usefulness in free diving. So as usual, there's no straight answer to this question. The answer to the question is going to depend on who's asking the question. Let's say for instance you're a beginner free diver who's struggling with equalization and just the normal techniques in free diving. You spending a lot of time doing HIIT training or weight training is not going to help you get past this hurdle, so for you, it wouldn't be the best way to spend your time. If you're doing deep dives and you're starting to struggle with lactic acid buildup or your legs weakening during the dive, then HIIT training or resistance training may become useful to you. In free diving, we use specific energy systems, namely the ATP system and the anaerobic system. The useful thing of HIIT training and weight training is you're using these same energy systems. By training these energy systems, we're training our body to get used to working without oxygen more efficiently. Now to oversimplify a complicated subject, your muscles become tired and start to burn on a dive because you've been working too hard anaerobically and your muscles become acidic. You can combat this from two different directions. The first would be technique. Using bad technique means you're going to have to work harder over a given distance. For example, bending at the knees in constant weight is going to cause a lactic acid buildup much sooner than if you weren't bending at the knees. I've found lifting weights and improving my overall strength have allowed me to maintain my form. And maintaining my form means less lactic acid, less fatigue. Would I have been able to have done this with HIIT training? No. Um, Traditional HIIT training, it's generally body weight, you're not using much um, heavy weight. So you're not actually going to increase your overall strength. It doesn't matter how many body weight squats you do, you could do a thousand body weight squats. It doesn't mean you're going to be able to squat 150 kilos. For me, becoming stronger means that I don't get any lactic. I put off the amount of time until my legs become lactic. Whereas training with HIIT, you're basically getting used to lactic acid and being able to deal with the lactic acid for longer. Which brings me on to the second way that you can approach fatigue and the burning in your muscles. And that's just training to tolerate higher levels of lactic acid. I would only start to worry about this if you've checked your technique with video or with a good coach and you know your technique is already perfect, you're strong enough to maintain your form, but you're still doing dives which are long or deep enough where you need to start to deal with a large lactic acid buildup. For this, it's not so important if you, if you use HIIT training or if you use weight training. The most important thing is that each time you train, by the end of each um, work period, your legs should be on fire or whichever muscle group you're targeting should be completely fatigued, burning, exhausted. Now, personally, I have plenty of time to train, but if I had to pick only one, then I would say weight training is much more useful than HIIT training. By manipulating your percentage of your one rep max, so the amount of weight you're lifting, the amount of reps you do, and the rest you have between each set, you can work just as hard and be just as tired as any HIIT training session. But you also get the added benefit of building up your overall strength and targeting specific muscle groups. You can think of the value of building up your overall strength like this. Let's imagine there's two divers, they both have the exact same technique. Um, same mouthfeel, everything is the same. Only one diver can squat 60 kilos, the other diver can squat 120 kilos. They're both constant weight divers, and let's say, just for argument's sake, it requires 6 kilos of force to move the fin through the water. Now for the weak diver, this represents 10% of the force that he can create. For the strong diver, this represents 5% of the force that he can create, half. So which diver is going to become fatigued sooner? The one using 10% or the one using 5%? I think the answer is pretty obvious. When it comes to free diving, HIIT training and weight training only becomes useful when you're starting to dive quite deep, below recreational levels, let's just say. But in life in general, we only get one body. It's important to look after your heart, your lungs and your muscles. And HIIT training and resistance training will do just that, allowing us to enjoy our bodies, enjoy our life, into our later years. Starting to do HIIT training or weight training is not going to take you from being a 30 meter diver to being an 80 meter diver. What it will do is give you that edge which is going to allow you to progress a little bit further if you're already a deep diver, allow you to 
enjoy your dives that little bit more or get them extra few meters if you're a competitive diver. In my month-long mentorships, we're doing HIIT training or weight training five times a week after our dive sessions. By the time you leave me, you'll be quite aware of how to use both these methods of training. So if you want any more information on that, then you can check out the website. That's it guys, if you want to support the channel, like, share and subscribe, or buy a cool t-shirt. Until next time, take it easy and dive safe.